So you want to know if uh, if there's a way that you can use a pair of uh, David Clark Aviation headphones for everyday use, um, whether that be as a gaming headset. Maybe you uh, you know you spend a lot of time in flight simulators, and you've uh, you know spent all this money on like uh, the yolk and rudder setup, multiple monitor setup, you know whatever, and you want. Uh, you want to use, you know, a pair of actual legitimate aviation headphones. Um, can you do that? Yes, absolutely. Um, first of all, they uh, they make adapters. So like this, this is a pair that I have. I bought this pair uh, when I was flying Cessnas, uh, getting my uh, piloting license. And uh, there's many different variations of. Uh, headsets as far as like David Clark's go or just any Bose or anything um for like a Cessna you got a, a two plug um uh, type of uh headset and they sell these adapters online that you can get that uh range from like 150 plus you know whatever and they allow you to plug that in that to there and then you get two connections which I got these taped off here for some odd reason and, uh, and that allows you to convert your plug and plug it into that. Well, <clears throat> that does work to a degree. Um, first of all, it is expensive, uh, which is not great. We don't we don't want to have to spend a whole bunch of money. Um, it also requires you to run uh, nine volt batteries all the time, which it's not ideal either. And uh, it really does not resolve the main issue with using a pair of aviation headphones. And that is simply aviation headphones were not meant for everyday use. Um, you know, they're not meant to listen to music. They're not meant to plug into your computer. They're designed specifically for flight use, which, you know, it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the same thing as, uh, as your everyday pair of headphones. So they sell those adapters that you can use with a pair of expensive headphones. And uh, they're not going to be the best. They're not, they not, they're, they're not going to get as loud as you would like them to, to, to be. They're not going to be as clear as you'd like them to, to be. Um, all in all, it's just not, not going to give you the experience that you want. You want... <clears throat> I don't know what you want. So, so yes, you can use a pair of stock Dave Clark aviation headphones with adapters to plug into your computer. Um, but let's say, you know, you wanted to use them for more than just plugging into your computer. Cause, um, I don't know if you can tell, but this is already a really long cable with something that already takes a 9 volt battery, right? Not that big of a deal when you're flying in a plane, right? You just plug them in, put them on your head, and go, right? Well, now you're at home, you wanna plug them into your computer and use them as a gaming headset or a flight simulator headset or listen to music, right? Okay, well now you've got that much more cable, right? Um, pretty bulky, right? I mean, you can't go walking down the street you know, I guess you could just stick, you know, get a backpack and just shove it all in there. Um, but even with all that said and done, it's not, it's not going to sound good. Why does it not sound good? Uh, well, once again, aviation headphones are meant for a very specific thing. And that is to hear, cancel out noise, you know, wind noise, uh, engine noise, rudder noise, all of that. And, and, and they're tuned specifically for the human voice. That's strictly all they're aiming to do. And um, they, they do that <clears throat> exceptional well. The thing is, they do nothing else well, okay? They do not sound good. They're not musical, okay? Um, for example, um, let's look at the drivers, okay? This is uh, one of the speakers out of a pair of David Clark. This is actually out of one of their uh, 
uh, a set that was originally intended for a helicopter. These are 19 ohm uh, speakers, which um, I believe they're quite a bit higher than the ones for the Cessnas. But um, these these drivers, these speakers, they sound awful. They have no bass. There's the the musically, um, or you know, even playing games and stuff like that. It doesn't it doesn't reproduce sound well at all other than the human voice right so <clears throat> you know can you do it yeah is it gonna sound good no but with a lot of time and uh, well yeah time mostly uh with time you can uh actually make um your own set um uh, this is actually a uh pair of headphones that I bought off eBay for a whopping grand total of $28. Um, the listing stated that they were untested um, and they did not know if they did or did not work. They were uh, intend they were originally uh, uh, helicopter headphones. So instead of having two of those big plugs, there was one fat, stubby, weird helicopter plug. Uh, I think it's very proprietary. I don't think anything other than helicopters use those, but I could be wrong. I'm not an expert on that in particular. Um, and um, so, anyways, that, so, you know, I saw that listing and I uh, decided, well, right, let's go ahead and, and let's buy them. Let's, let's, uh, let's see what we can do with them. So, I got them. They had this long cable, right? Um, kind of like the other ones. Um, but uh, it was just, just one uh, plug on the end of it. Now that plug's somewhere downstairs, I don't have it. So first of all, there's already a guy that's made a video on how to cut that plug off and uh, basically just wire in a standard aux cord uh, or jack. And uh, that's the first step, you know, to make it where you, you can, you know, feed a signal to them and get something out of them. And uh, you could stop there, but once again, it goes back to audio quality. The speakers, the drivers, are not made for music. They're not made for gaming. They're not made for anything else. They're meant for just talking. So, <clears throat> what I've done, and uh, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, planning on doing. Uh, like a like a how-to or anything this was more just to show that uh you can um but uh my brother actually i, I have to show my brother these he actually wanted a pair so i got back on ebay and found a another uh pair of broken slash untested headphones uh for really cheap they're 15 bucks for two pairs uh so i went ahead and ordered those and uh and i I'll probably make a video on the how to actually do everything, but as you can see with these headphones, um, I actually have like really nice cushy things, so they're extremely comfortable, extremely noise canceling, and not noise canceling by playing white noise or anything like that, they're simply just heavily dampened, um, they just, you just put them on unplugged, you can't hear anything else, which is one of the reasons which is one of the reasons why you may want uh to go with this route because there's there's no there's there's not a there's not that many good alternatives on the market and then they are um as good as david clark's as far as like noise canceling goes they're very expensive and what i'm showing you is that uh, you can have a extremely high quality pair of headphones um, for as cheap as you want to spend on them or, you know, you could, you could drop a lot of money into them, uh, which these do and don't, but, um, the drivers that I'm using are 53 millimeter audio technica out of, uh, my favorite pair of headphones, which I was heartbroken to take these out of my other headphones because I absolutely love these headphones. Um, but they are... Audio Technica, uh, 
ATH WS 1100 SIs. Lovely, lovely headphones. Um, but I needed drivers, and uh, um, and I and I actually had a pair of uh, Sony drivers in here, uh, and a few other just different headphone drivers, and I wasn't happy with them. Um, you know, they didn't the they just didn't sound as good as as, as my Audio Technica's did. So I very reluctantly decided to go ahead and sacrifice those and put them in here because you know ultimately these are the headphones that I want to wear. So, like I said, got the Audio Technicas in there, right? So that solves the problem of um, the stock speakers not being, you know, intended for music or audio in everyday use. So, got those soldered in there. Um, another thing is, is most, if not all, uh, I, I think there's some uh, David Clarks that are not mono, but they're pretty much all mono. Uh, if you're getting a cheap pair off of eBay, like I said, or like I'm, like I did, they're almost certainly going to be mono, so you're going to have to do a lot of rewiring as far as that goes. But another thing that I've done is I've, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I've uh, removed the cord that they came with and uh, made it to where I can plug in whatever cable I want to. And uh, with that, I just had a male to female aux cord and I cut off the female side of things uh, left a little bit of cabling in there rewired everything in there and just put that there so now I can use whatever cable I want to um, I've also wired in the microphone so that still works um, and it sounds really good in my opinion um, I mean, it's not like a Blue Yeti or anything like that, but, uh, you know, it's, you know, if you're using them for gaming, they're going to do great. Um, so, kind of before and after all of that versus just some headphones. Well, this might not have been the greatest uh, video in the world. Um, then it doesn't answer every single question. It's not necessarily, this isn't necessarily a how to, um, I just, uh, would like to start making videos on some of these projects that I've done. Cause I feel like, uh, cause when I was, when I was going to do this, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of information out there. Um, there's, there was one guy on the internet on some forum, uh, who said that he bought, pair of David Clark's at like a garage sale or something like that and he was asking uh, if uh, if it would be cool to turn them into audio file headphones and uh, pretty much every response on there was like no that's dumb don't do that and that was that was it I don't know if the guy ever did it or did not do it don't know but uh, so there's that and then there's a guy who's made a video on YouTube that uh, he did some of a conversion, I believe he and, and it, he. It's a good video, but he shows how to cut off the end of the cable and put on, you know, a standard 3.5 uh, jack. And then I believe he also goes into how to rewire them to take to be stereo rather than mono. But uh, he did. I don't believe he swapped out the drivers or anything like that. Um, and uh, so. Anyways, just putting that out there that can it be done, yes. Um, and these sound amazing. At by far the best headphones I've ever I've ever tried. Uh, might be toot my own horn too much, I don't know, but I absolutely love them. Um, they sound phenomenal. They're extremely comfortable to wear. They are heavy, they are, they are bulky. You know, you might look like a, like a goof, but I love them, you know, and uh, I'm very happy with them, and, uh, you know, if nothing else, I just kind of want to encourage you to, to, you know, try, just, uh, start messing with some stuff, and if, uh, if you have questions, or, you know, you're, you know, the, the, you know, if, if, if doubt, or, you know, 
whatever is stopping you from doing it, then I, I, I want to give you that push, that encouragement to actually go out and get some stuff, play with some stuff, see what you can do. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it that note. Um, hopefully this is not the worst video that you've ever watched. Uh, you know. Yeah. Thanks.